The Zangati VDI dashboard is at the heart of the VDI dashboard suite. It is designed to encompass all of the primary aspects of a desktop virtualization deployment. It tracks the desktop pools, the desktop users, the desktops themselves. It can see the clients that are accessing the desktops. It looks at the hosts on which the desktops run and can see the data stores that sit behind the hosts along with the paths that interconnect them. And it can keep track of conversations with, to, with application servers or to application virtualization servers. It can also monitor traditional IT servers, perhaps things like an Active Directory, a load balancer, a DNS, a connection broker, a provisioning server, or other key elements of the desktop infrastructure. The purpose behind this dashboard is to collect all of these various items into a single health score at the top of the dashboard. To make that health score, our system is busy looking at literally dozens of metrics for each of these categories across pools, users, and desktops, and, and the host, so on and so forth. And you can see that it encompasses everything from CPU usage to data store activity to network activity, giving a complete contextual picture into the environment. As you look at a Zangati dashboard, one of the first things that you'll notice is that it's in constant motion. Our dashboards provide a live and continuous display of all of the operating conditions in the environment. And this time granularity is really what sets them apart from legacy tools that are geared around 5, 10, or 15 minute intervals for metric display. The other thing that you'll notice is that at the bottom of the display, there is a transport bar that enables you to quickly move backwards and forwards through time in a continuous fashion. If you've ever wanted to know what happened just 15 minutes ago when there was, was some unusual activity inside the desktop environment, this is your feature. Also, you'll notice that off to the right-hand side of the transport bar is a red record button. When you press this red record button, the system will make a recording of whatever is on the live display at this time. And that encompasses all of the various metrics uh, that would go into making up that live display. And this can be very useful, for example, to capture something that went bump in the night, or maybe there's something that's going wrong at three o'clock in the afternoon, and you just need to put some security cameras, as it were, on key parts parts of the infrastructure. This recording capability will come directly to the rescue. So how does that integrate in with the performance index at the top of the display? Well, what our system is doing is, is that it's busy profiling all of the items inside of the dashboard and comparing it against two sets of profiles. The first is a best practices set of thresholds that are basically determined by VMware and by Citrix for the best performance of their respective solutions. The second is a set of profiles that we develop ourselves just by watching the various components and bits and pieces of the infrastructure. And we'll build an understanding of what the normal activity for each item is over time. When things step out of line, what happens is an invisible finger reaches out and presses that red record button to preserve the anomalous activity for somebody to take a look at it. If we were, for example, to click on this yellow icon here at the top of the desktop column indicating that something is, is out of whack here, we'll go ahead and get a list of the current rec uh, recordings and alerts. Now, this alert here for, uh, for CPU usage has a recording behind it. If I double click on it, it will go ahead and bring up the recording for this particular item at the time period um, for which it was having a problem. And it looks like this particular desktop has some very high CPU usage, almost like a process is uh, causing it to be stuck. And if we wanted to get some additional contextual information about this, we could of course grab the slider bar and move through time to see um, if this particular event um, is changing over time. And while the CPU is moving a little bit, it appears to be fairly static. So if we use the Windows System Viewer, we can even dive in deeper to see the exact processes that are running on this virtual machine by memory uh, and by processor time. And here with this display that 
that's exactly time linked to the to the one in the background, we can see that there looks like there's a script uh, that's running on this machine that's actually pegged its utilization very, very high. And so we can step through and see um, if that behavior is, is changing. And it doesn't look like it is uh, to any reasonable degree. And so we could reasonably conclude that this particular process involves something that the user did that's causing the desktop to slow down. And it doesn't really have anything to do with the actual desktop infrastructure itself. This is one of the ways in which these recordings that are automatically generated by the system can help tremendously because it's like having uh, someone be able to see the exact point in time when a user is having a, a challenge or a difficulty in the environment. Even better than this is a capability that we call the visual trouble ticket. If you go to your Zangati dashboard and at the end of the URL, if you type trouble.jsp, you'll come up to what we call the visual trouble ticket. And the visual trouble ticket is designed for end users themselves to be able to initiate a recording when they feel like the performance is less than they need. And so somebody could put in their username, email address, and their comment uh, that their desktop is slow or that mail seems broken or whatever their user experience is. The important thing is, is that when someone clicks this create visual trouble ticket button, what happens in the background is that we create a 15 minute recording with a one minute pre-roll buffer of whatever is happening on their desktop. And that information is then preserved for future analysis. And it has all the detail that we saw for the desktop processes, um, the protocol information, so on and so forth. And so the visual trouble ticket is a fantastic addition to this dashboard because it's the only solution on the market that allows an end user to generate something that's actually of use to the IT department in dissecting what might have gone wrong at a particular point in time because it captures the complete context of the virtual machine and its operating environment and its storage usage, its bandwidth, and all of the various things that go into its performance. Well, so far, we've looked at kind of a very manual way of understanding exactly what might happen inside of an environment. And we took a look at an alert recording and to the extent that somebody may not be looking at this dashboard 24 hours a day, the question that's obvious is, is there some kind of a way in which the system can assist in pointing out the things that need attention? And we've built something that we call the storm tracker that is designed for that exact purpose. And what it's designed to do is to take a look at an entire virtual center worth of infrastructure and to display it in graphical format. Each cloud in this view represents an ESX host, and these are the individual virtual machines or desktops that would be on each machine. If there's any contention, these circles turn gray to indicate the extent of the contention. For example, if this data store was in contention between virtual machines on these three hosts, you would see this data store gray along with gray circles on each of these hosts. When the storm tracker identifies a particular issue or a problem, it will show you that it'll tell you the type that is data store contention, and it will show you the exact items that were involved in that particular contention. In this case, it appears to be affecting one of the desktops. Now, in this case, we could go through behind every one of these rows and click and look at the recordings manually. But what we want to do is see the system at work. And so we'll click on the analyze and recommend buttons in order to bring up the reports for this particular storm. And we can see that for this particular data store contention event, um, it happened with one of the, uh, the desktops and a couple of servers in the back background and one of those servers seems to have excessive data store latencies and significantly higher data store IOPS than the other VMs. And so our dashboard concludes that the contention is likely caused by uh, this one particular virtual machine kind of overgrazing the commons, if you will, and affecting the performance of this particular desktop. So at this point, we have a kind of a smoking gun, if you will. But the question is, does this matter? And is it occurring over time? Is it affecting a lot of machines? Is it getting worse? Or is it kind of a one-time event? And when we go to the recommendation, we graph out something that we call storm intensity that is designed to measure the frequency, the severity, and the duration of this exact pattern, the pattern that this one virtual machine causes problems for 
the others. And over the last 30 days, we can see that this particular problem has manifested uh, a couple of times here, and it does seem to be getting a little bit worse over time. It doesn't happen every day, um, but there are several occurrences of it during the period. It does not appear that this particular storm is tied to the underlying capacity. In other words, there's enough room on the data store. And so we make the recommendation that this data store probably needs to be upgraded to handle a higher rate of IO operations. And obviously, if we were immediately concerned about this desktop, we could move it uh, off to another place. So of course, these storm reports, along with their corresponding recommendations, can be automatically scheduled to arrive at your desktop uh, throughout the day on a weekly basis, so on and so forth. And the the storm tracker is a wonderful way to have automation sift through the causality, get down to the root of it, and to display in uh, plain English exactly what the best course of action is to resolve a particular type of contention. The VDI dashboard has a number of other interesting capabilities. One of them is its ability to navigate quickly and seamlessly through the environment in real time. If I click on any of the metrics on the front of the page, I'm taken from the dashboard to the monitor view. And the monitor view provides a detailed view of individual columns and their components. For example, if I click on the desktop column, it will go ahead and give me a list of all of the desktops that are currently installed on this system. And I can sort them immediately by CPU usage, by CPU ready, memory, or any of the other dozens of statistics that we're keeping. If we want to see a particular desktop, it's as simple as double clicking on it and we're immediately taken to a drill down view that shows us all of the contextual details for this particular vir virtual desktop. In this case, we can see its data store byte rate, um, if there's any latency affecting it, if um, there are network activities happening. We see all of the TCP UDP ports for this particular system. We see its, its CPU usage and a host of other metrics are available here, ranging from the active memory, the CPU ready times, all of the data store activity, so on and so forth. And of course, like all Zangati displays, the scroll bar is active to enable us to see how these variables change over time. And again, the red record button is here. Now, if we wanted to now navigate to this particular data store, it's as simple as a click to navigate to the data store and to see the entire world from the perspective of this NFS data store. We can see the hosts that are connected to it and what the per kind of performance each of those hosts is receiving from this data store. If we wanted, we could just as easily change this to say what desktops are actually using this particular data store. And so you can sort this by desktop, by virtual machine, by host, and see exactly what's going on. If we wanted to see a host level view, we would simply click on something and this process could continue. And you can see as I click on this in real time that the dashboard is immediately responsive and it's pivoting to show me the world from a different angle. And in the course of troubleshooting or optimizing a network, this real time capability becomes invaluable to quickly determine whether or not a troubleshooting thesis is accurate or uh, to drill down directly to the source of a problem. In this monitor view, there are a couple other um, exciting things that, uh, that can be of interest. And under the system performance tab, we have the ability to look directly into the Windows system of a particular desktop using the Windows management interface. And this will go ahead and display for us the CPU, the memory, and optionally it will also display the, uh, the disk I.O., the processes by file and device IOs, so you can see exactly what processes are driving activity on a particular workstation. As valuable as that is, we have also done some custom integration with both Citrix and with VMware around their desktop protocols. And we have a viewer that we call the desktop session viewer. And it also uses the Windows management interface and is able to drill in and to pull out detailed statistics that come directly from the agent inside the virtual desktop, showing the end-to-end -end latency, the decomposition of the protocol, the packet loss, and several other parameters related to system tuning for the VDI protocols. This particular viewer was 
made at the request of Citrix and VMware professional service organizations and can be invaluable in finding delay or packets that may be hung up inside of router buffers contributing to perceived packet loss in the VDI session. When you make a recording with the Zangati dashboard or our system does automatically, this information is included for your desktop sessions. As you can see, the ability to have process level information, complete infrastructure metrics, as well as detailed session information provides the desktop administrator with an unparalleled view into the operations of the virtual desktop infrastructure. The dashboard also has several useful reports that can characterize the environment very completely. Starting at the top here, I'll give you a quick sense for the types of reports that are inside the system. Of course, you can report out alerts and capacity, uh, things that may have happened over a period of time. There are a variety of summary reports that enable you to summarize the desktop pools uh, that, or to summarize the, the desk, all of the desktops, all of the hosts, and so on and so forth. You can, of course, run specific reports that drill into a single user that drill into a particular host or a virtual machine. And we can display this information by user because we've done custom integrations with both VMware and with Citrix to be able to map the desktops to their users. So for those of you that uh, may be doing uh, non-persistent deployments where users get a new desktop every time they come in, you'll be very glad to know that you can track all of the desktops, not only by their desktop name, but also by their user information. And you can see by username exactly who's logged in to a particular desktop and what their statistics are. And of course, over the course of a month, the statistics will stay with the user. Um, and so even as they use different desktops, you'll still have them. And all of that, of course, comes out in the reports as well. There are several reports that Zangati makes that are customized to the VDI environment. One of the most useful is a report that we call the application histogram, and it's designed to show the bandwidth distribution of desktops um, during the course of a day. So you can see exactly where your bandwidth is being used on expensive WAN links. And for each hour, it will show us exactly the number of desktops that fall into several different bandwidth ca categories. And I can even double click in here and be shown the uh, exact pools um, or the exact users that fall into each of these bandwidth categories if I need to make adjustments perhaps to the compression or to the display algorithms that are behind the desktop protocol. If you need to optimize your desktop delivery across WAN links, you'll be very happy with this particular report. Of course, the Zangati dashboard also keeps track of a variety of capacity information. Our capacity system is working constantly to evaluate all of the various components, whether they're desktop pools, desktops, hosts, uh, storage, so on and so forth. And we're comparing the usage, the capacity, and the thresholds that you've set as an administrator to see when the capacity will be exhausted for particular things. And all of that capability is reportable inside of our system in a variety of ways. One of them is what we would call a weighted capacity index. When the storm tracker operates and determines if there are storms inside the environment, we also look at the capacity of the system to see if there is a correlation between the capacity and the storms that are inside the environment. And we use the storms to weight the capacity index to say, how is the overall system doing um, you know, relative to its capacity and uh, to its performance? And so that's one that may be very useful uh, over time. In addition, we can also find outliers that may be overusing particular resources. For example, in this case, we're looking at desktop users and we want to see the users that are the most unusual by network activity or perhaps by CPU usage. And it looks like I have two users that are using substantially more CPU than the rest of the population. And so those might be places where I need to go dig into the capacity settings and understand exactly what those particular users users are doing. Similarly, we have a variety of reports that summarize the capacity across several key sorting mechanisms. One of them would be to sort things by the amount of capacity used. In this particular case, there's some machines that are using um, you know, very close to 100%, in this case, using more than one core of CPU. And so these are the top consumers of CPU or the top consumers of memory.
The flip side of that, of course, is to find the spare capacity, things that are over-provisioned inside the environment. And in this particular case, while you don't know the number of cores that are active in my environment, it looks like this particular desktop is pro pro using and provisioned to use rather, um, you know, somewhere around five gigahertz of spare CPU capacity. And so it's entirely likely that too many cores are allocated to this virtual machine. And if I were to decrease the allocation, um, I would get back quite a few CPU cycles that are literally just sitting wasted. And similarly, you know, this desktop also seems to have a lot of unused RAM that might be clawed back and put somewhere else in the environment. So the reports provide an extremely useful way to interact with the dashboard. So as you can see, the Zangati dashboard combines a host of information from desktop pools to users, to the desktops themselves, to the network, to the hosts, data stores, the data store paths, application servers, and, and even IT servers that support the virtualized infrastructure. We combine all this information into an easy to use, fast to navigate, and clear display of all of the operating conditions that surround your virtual desktop environment. Because the dashboard operates in real time and operates continuously, it's able to spot even minute fluctuations in the performance of the system that may affect users. When combined with our recording technology and the storm tracker and the ability for users to create their own recordings using the visual trouble ticket portal, the Zangati VDI dashboard provides an unparalleled ability to Assure the service of your most important desktop users. To obtain the VDI dashboard for yourself, simply visit our website at www.zangati.com and follow the links.